In the world of Zelda, armor never played a huge role. But this all changed in Breath of the Wild, since there are a ton of different ones. So today, we're going to take a look at the very best ones. Number 5 Alright everybody, before we start this video, I just want to say that this upcoming Saturday, I'll be doing an 8 hour long livestream for hitting 100k on YouTube. We will start at 8pm CAT, and the link to the Twitch is on the screen right now, and in the description down below. So be sure to follow me there, and be sure to be at the stream, it's going to be a lot of fun. Now, let's get to the video. Armor designed for stealth, passed down through the Shika tribe. The special fabric suppressed the rustling of clothes even when moving quickly. Yes, I'm talking about the Shika armor of course, the set that's used by the best assassins in the land of Hyrule. Now what's cool about this armor is the overall design. The look for the Shika themselves and the village they live in are heavily inspired by Japanese culture. And you can also see this in their armor, it just screams Japan, and it looks really good in my opinion. Besides that, it looks a lot like Sheik's armor from Ocarina of Time, which is a nice touch, since that character is a fan favorite after all. The armor also has a great stealth bonus, which can be really handy in certain situations, like sneaking up to a boss so you can take him out in one go. Believe me, it always works. Just stand in between its legs and switch armor to high damage and just start spinning. Just a wily pro player tip for you. Not that I'm a real pro, but uh, I do my best. Number 4 This shirt is sold at the Gerudo Secret Club. It glows with a strange pattern in the dark due to a dye made from crushed luminous stones. The Radiant Armor, one of the more bright and colorful armor sets in the entire game, and it has a certain vibe to it. This reminds me a lot of Mexican wrestlers. However, without the music of course. That's just overkill. But still, the design is very special and looks especially good in the dark, and that's also when it's most useful. Since in the night, you can hang out with your best friends, all the skeleton enemies. Except the Hinox one. He can see through your disguise, surprisingly enough. But overall, this item is really useful, because the undead enemies are extremely annoying when you're traveling at night, and this set solves that entire problem. Another bonus of this armor is the fact that you get an 80% damage bonus on bone weapons. This way, they can be very, very strong. And it's a great way of getting a lot of power out of the weak bone weapons, which are always laying around. Number 3 Armor once favored by an ancient warlike tribe from the Faron region. The war paint bolsters your fighting spirits and raises your attack power. The barbarian armor has to be one of the best fighting sets in the game. It makes you do more damage in general and also makes your charged attacks cost less. Now besides this bonus, it looks great of course, mostly the helmet, since it stands out a lot and looks very brutal. I even saw a comment in one of my other videos that said that it looked a lot like Ganondorf. And yes, it kind of does. Another thing I like about this set is the mystery behind it, since we have no idea who this ancient warlike tribe was. I even made a complete video about it, I will link it in the upper right corner. This set also gives Link an interesting look that we have never seen before in any other Zelda game. Mostly the war paint looks good, it adds some character. And getting it is quite a challenge, since you have to go through a whole labyrinth. Multiple even. But the reward is oh so good. Number 2 This armor was created with ancient Shika technology using guardian parts. Equipping it will reduce the damage you take from ancient weaponry. The ancient armor, the strongest set in the entire game. It has the highest defense with a total of 84 and it can also reach the normal hit damage cap of the game, which is 606. You can't do more damage than that, since it won't go any higher. Apparently, they expected people to come up with the best combo ever, and didn't want them to be too overpowered. But still, 606 is ridiculous, and if you do a sneak attack, you can reach 1620 damage. That's what's so cool about this armor. It can make you almost invincible, Guardians only do 3.5 hearts of damage with this set. 
This armor is great to have for those difficult battles, and especially during the fight with Calamity Ganon. It is certainly the strongest, but not the best. Number 1. The Fierce Deity, a god from another world named Termina. This armor will grant you more power. It can be randomly obtained from the treasure chest summoned by using the amiibo rune with the Link Majora's Mask amiibo of the Legend of Zelda 30th Anniversary series. Now this armor is of course a reference to the Zelda game Majora's Mask, and it looks the exact same as in that game. Now if you watch my videos more often, then you know why I chose this one. This is one of my favorite characters from my favorite game. And in Breath of the Wild, you can finally get the armor and run around in it. And the bonus is also really good. Besides that, the sword is also in the game. Even the description is amazing. It says, A peculiar great sword, allegedly used by a hero from a world in which the moon threatened to fall. It slashes wildly in battle, as if possessed by a fierce deity. This sword with the armor makes for a great combo. It makes you really feel like the mighty fierce deity. However, it's a bit lame that you have to buy a dumb amiibo to get it. Now to finish this video, I want to show you all what my favorite armor combo is. In my playthrough, I mostly walked around in the soldier's armor, since I like the look of plate armor a lot, and Link never had that. Sure, Twilight Princess had the magic armor, but that one cost rupees. However, the helm of the set is extremely ugly, so I wear the cap of time instead. It looks like a heavy, plate-wearing warrior Link, and I love that look. And so you can see that Breath of the Wild has some pretty cool armor sets, and you can even combine them and dye them for that little personal touch. It's great, to say the least. Hey there lovely people, be sure to check out my other social media like my Twitter, Twitch, Instagram and Discord server. I post all kinds of updates there, other fun stuff, I stream once a week on Twitch, so go check it out. Thanks for watching everybody, I hope you enjoyed. If you want to watch more videos, click the annotations on the screen right now. Don't forget to subscribe if you liked this video, because I'm going to make more. And I just want to say that you have a lovely face.